Ozarks is short by thousands of health care workers. Both Cox and Mercy are each trying to fill 1,000 empty spots, and that shortage could impact you when you need care. Lauren Schwinker joins us live outside of Mercy right now. And Lauren, we hear you talk to both of these hospital systems today about the problem and potential fixes. Yeah, Paul, I mean, just here in Springfield, Mercy says that it has 950 spots open. Now, this includes everything across the board from patient care services to nursing, you name it. I spoke with the Missouri Association today. It says that the shortage stems from many reasons like burnout and treatment of our health care workers. It's already bad. The hospitals are panicking already and it's just going to get worse. Heidi Lucas with the Missouri Nurses Association says Missouri's health care vacancy rate is 20 percent. A lot of them are taking early retirement and uh, leaving the profession altogether or we're losing nurses at the bedside at a rapid pace. Leaders at Cox and Mercy say despite the mountain of job openings, both are starting to see some stability. In order to meet the burgeoning demand of an aging population, we, we know that there are you know, approximately a thousand positions that we could fill and still very capably keep up with the demand that our, our community needs. The overall uh, demand certainly is greater than the supply of, of whether they be clinical or non-clinical workers. Um, we actually have seen, the, I, I'll tell you, our, our workforce tends to be stabilizing a little bit. Um, so we are seeing pretty consistent applicant volumes. The problem is not a one shoe fits all. And the Missouri Nurses Association says it's going to take a lot of changes. The first, starting with working conditions and treatment of our health care workers. We need to be able to keep our advanced practice registered nurses, our nurse practitioners here in the state of Missouri by removing regulations that are hampering their practice. Two, we need to make hospitals a safer environment to work. No other profession do people get regularly beat up. Another big challenge, tackling the lack of educators in nursing schools. People with same levels of education could be making double staying at the bedside as opposed to going and working in a school and being a teacher. Now, the Missouri Nursing Association says that the shortage is the worst in the Missouri boot heel. Well, over here, we're starting to see some stability. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Lauren Schwenker.